as Neil said, track position is vital at the start of this race. And for Jason Bright, if he can't beat Wink up on the launch, he's got to get across, cover the line. Green flag, Keep green Craig flag. Lowndes out. Green at the back. Race eight in the championship in the West. Wink up and Bright, turn one. Who can make the jump? Bright gets a good initial bite. Alex Davidson makes a stormer. Slots to the inside. That's massive. Oh! Grid. And it's been hit from behind. That's uh, and Carl Carl's Bidler. moving, trying to get out of this car quickly. He's out of the car. That's good to see because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. And there's another car involved behind. It's really hard to pick up. It's a Kelly, it's a Kelly car, I think. Yeah, it was a black Commodore by the looks of things. I think it's hard to see. I think it's Todd Kelly's car. He was starting right down the back. We've got a red flag. You just move. You just need to move around through pit lane corners. Oh, stop. It's Steve Owen, the VIP Petford's car. He's out of the car. He's OK. But he did start back in the pack, so he would have had quite a bit of speed going by the time he got to Rindler, who was in the mid-pack on the grid. We saw a massive crash like this at Oran Park many years ago with Mark Larkham and Paul Morris on the grid. And by the time you accelerate through and there's a, there's a parked car there, then you, you absolutely can't see it. So it stove the back of the car in. Remember that uh, Rindler was 13th on the grid. just have the cars uh, stopping at the back of the grid, please, just in the line, just stopping at the back of the grid until we um, was just sort this uh, mess out over. Tim Schenken, race director, and Steve, Steve Owen started position 25. Now, when you consider how many rows and then you look at the damage on Carl's car, you realise what sort of pace Steve had by the time he met the back of the Fairdick and Shed's car. So uh, we're... Obviously, in a race stop situation, because of the damage and the danger here, we're going to have a look at a replay to try and unravel what's going on. Look back at the pack. Carl stopped. Oh, man. Oh, man. And, and Dave Reynolds pulled out of the way. Owen completely unsighted. He had no chance. He had nowhere to go, did he? And that's just punched straight into the fuel cell. It split the cell. The fuel's been ignited, but there's a whole lot of electrical apparatus in the back of the cars. There's fuel pumps in there. There's power and batteries and things in there. And I, and I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as ferocious on a start line in terms of front to rear impact. That has devastated that car. That, that car will be just about over and out, I'd say. I totally agree. I've never seen an impact as heavy as that on a start line anywhere. Steve Owen, just as, they, as the cars split apart, he had nowhere to go. He wouldn't have even sighted that car. All of a sudden, there'd be a parked car in front of you. Full fuel, 75 litres of the sucrogen bioethanol, and uh, it's just erupted, and both those cars are a mess. But more importantly, the drivers are out of the car. I can see that uh, Carl Reindler is being worked on by Dr. Carl Lee and the medical team from V8 Supercar. And uh, when we saw him departing the car, he clearly was uh, distressed and trying to get out of there because of the amount of uh, flame around. And uh, there he is going into the back of the ambulance. And the crowd, a fantastic reaction as they applaud Carl Reinler getting off the track and to the back of the ambulance area. We've got to point out also, Mark, that uh, you know, in terms of the safety gear that the drivers are wearing, they've got their fireproof underwear, fireproof socks, gloves, balaclavas, helmets, all the gear. There's a lot of apparatus in place in the car and on the driver to ensure that this, when this sort of thing which happens...